गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू विच इज अवेलेबल ऑन पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन सो सी चिल्ड्रन एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू ए बी इज अ लाइन सेगमेंट एंड लाइन एल इज इट्स परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर इफ पॉइंट पी लाइज ऑन एल शो दैट पी इज इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम ए एंड बी सो सी चिल्ड्रन हियर इन अ गिवन क्वेश्चन वन लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी इज गिवन टू अस and one line l also given to us it is a perpendicular bisector of line segment ab and also one point p which is available on line l and we have to prove that p is equidistant from a and b means distance between p and a and distance between p and b both same that we have to prove now for this question already i drawn one figure <coughs> so see children this figure already i drawn in a given figure this is line segment ab and this is line l and line l is the perpendicular bisector of line segment ab and line l can intersect at point c and point c is available on line segment ab and one point p which is available on line l that i drawn here now i joined p and a then i joined p and b and here we have to prove that pa is equal to pb <coughs> now we will solve this question so see children solution line l perpendicular to ab why line l perpendicular to ab because <coughs> because line l is the perpendicular bisector of ab so line l perpendicular to ab and passes through point c which is the mid point of ab line l perpendicular to ab and passes through point c which is the mid point of ab c is the mid point of the ab why c is the mid point of the ab because line l is the perpendicular bisector of ab and bisector can convert a line segment into two equal segment so we can say that point c is the mid point of the ab so ac is equal to bc c is equal point c is the mid point of the ab so ac is equal to bc so we can write ac is equal to bc because l is the bisector of ab also line l perpendicular to ab see children this is line l perpendicular to ab so angle pca and angle pcb both are equal and they have same measurement 90 degree they have same measurement 90 degree See children, line L perpendicular to AB. So angle PCA and angle PCB both have same measurement, and their measurement is what 90 degree because line L perpendicular to AB. So line L perpendicular to AB. So angle PCA is equal to angle PCB is equal to 90 degree. Now for triangle PCA and triangle PCB. Now for this triangle PCA. this triangle pca and this triangle pcb now for triangle pca and triangle pcb first ac is equal to bc first ac is equal to bc why because c is the mid point of the ab here already we proved so ac is equal to bc because c is the mid point of the ab and we can consider it is side now second <coughs> now second what See, PCA is equal to PCB is equal to 90 degree. Angle PCA is equal to angle sorry, angle PCA is equal to angle PCB is equal to 90 degree. Why the PCA is equal to PCB is equal to 90 degree? Because L perpendicular to AB. So we can write L perpendicular to AB, and we can write they are angles. they are angles now third third is what c pc is equal to pc pc is equal to pc and they can consider as a common side they can consider as a common side of both triangle so see children in triangle pca and triangle pcb first ac is equal to bc see for triangle pca and triangle pcb this ac is equal to bc this both have same measurement because c is the mid point of ab now second 
PCA and PCB both have same measurement and their measurement is 90 degree. PCA is equal to PCB is equal to 90 degree because L perpendicular to AB. Now see children, this side PC, this side PC is available in triangle PCA, see, in triangle PCA, PC game and in triangle PCB also PC game. So side PC is the common side of both triangle. So see children, and we can write here it is side. So see children, side angle side. SAS. So according to SAS congruence rule. So according to according to SAS congruence rule. According to SAS congruence rules rule. Both triangles are both triangles are both triangles are congruent to each other. Are congruent to each other. And we can write triangle PCA congruent to triangle PCB. And we can write triangle PCA congruent to triangle PCB. Why they are congruent to each other? See children, <coughs> two side, this two side and one included angle of triangle PCA are equal to two side, this two side and one included angle of triangle PCB are equal. So both triangle PCA and triangle PCB are congruent to each other. So this is a normal explanation of example number two. I hope you can understand this. Thank you.